Today I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, uh, set up and install uh, ZRAM uh, in a Puppy Linux. It will it should work in uh, all, all the uh, Puppy Linux that I'm aware of. So it is uh, ZRAM is a software compression of RAM, so you can use uh, more of a RAM as a swap file. It's particularly good if you have a uh, RAM less than 4 gig of RAM and if you're also using SSD. Uh, first thing uh, y what you need to do is uh, install a ZRAM from uh, Puppy Package Manager. So we'll just go to uh, Puppy Package Manager and then uh, and then uh, install it. I actually have it already installed, so ZRAM. And I just installed the ZRAM tools and the UDIS2. Uh, this I'm running, I'm showing you this in what more the recent uh, uh, version of uh, Fossa Pub 64. So after you uh, install that from uh, a Puppy Package Manager. Then what you have to do is go to uh, this website and download three files. And uh, let me just show you. So around the mid, uh, mid, middle of that web page that I sent you, that I referred to, there are three files that you need to download. So I've actually already done that. So here are three files. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who should get the credit for uh, creating these files for using ZRAM uh, in uh, Puppy Linux, but this is very, very helpful software solution. So let me just go back. Uh, but this uh, was a uh, uh, put up by a then Cytron, the user. Anyway, I have downloaded this uh, in my download folder. So what you need to do is follow these commands. So first thing is, uh, I'll just go ahead and, first thing is go to the uh, uh, download folder where you have the uh, uh, three downloads. So we can just go ahead and check ls, and there are three, uh, three uh, uh, files. So then next is uh, run this uh, one command. And as long as you you have the um, you're in the proper uh, download uh, f a folder, it will work. So, you go ahead and, uh, and then just simply enter. And then what it will do is uh, it will open up root startup uh, folder. So this, you wanna make sure that you have this ZRAM start sh in the folder then uh, when you reboot then you know uh, that it's uh, it's uh, functioning so if everything uh, went well I've already checked on mine but after re re you reboot what you do is run this command to see if it's uh, uh, running in the background so we'll just go ahead and copy this and so as long as uh, ZRAM one and uh, one or uh, two lines you have act active that it is uh, it is working so uh, but this is a uh, a short uh, video clip, but I find that this is uh, really significantly helpful in performance of my old machine.